Hello children, the story I'm going to read for you today is called Ten Little Lights. I wonder why the story is called Ten Little Lights. Is it anything to do with the house? Who do you think the characters are in a story? What do you think is going to happen? Have a think of these questions while we're reading. So Ten Little Lights, a Twinkle original story. At the edge of a wintry wood, a large house stood silent and still. The silvery light of the moon reflected of the fresh white snow below. A warm golden glow attracted a rat who was scurrying in the frozen leaves. One little light was shining, shining out in the night and a rat was dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. I want you to have a look at the numbers they are hiding in the moon and also pay attention to the lights. How many lights can we see? The glow became brighter and attracted a hare who was sniffling in some crunchy twigs. Two little lights were shining out in the night and a rat and a hare were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. Can you see number two hidden in the moon? And one more shiny window. The glow became brighter and attracted a fox who was prowling in the powdery snow. Three little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare and a fox were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. The glow became brighter and attracted an owl who was gliding between the glistening trees. Four little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox and an owl were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. Now we've got, we've got one more light here in the attic and number four. The glow became brighter and attracted a mole who was digging in the icy soil. Five little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox and an owl and a mole were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. Then we've got a lovely robin. The glow became brighter and attracted a robin who was darting between lazy snowflakes. Six little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox, an owl and a mole and a robin were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. The glow became brighter and attracted a deer who was sheltering under the bare branches of an old oak tree. Seven little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox, an owl, a mole, a robin and a deer were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. What do you think the next animal might be? Let's see. The glow became brighter and attracted a badger who was foraging in the, frosty, in the frosty bushes. Eight little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox, an owl, a mole, a robin, a deer and a badger was dreaming of a warm cozy fire. How many more animals do we need to get to ten? So nine, ten. So we need two more animals. Let's see what the next animal might be. 
the glow became brighter and attracted a stoat who was scampering through a hollow log. Nine little lights were shining out in the night and a rat, a hare, a fox, an owl, a mole, a robin, a deer, a butter and a stoat were dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. Do you think anybody's gonna let all these animals in? Let's see. I can see someone is prowling there and I've got the same friend over here with me. So let's see what's gonna happen. The glow became brighter and attracted a cat who was returning to its toasty bed across the thick blanket of snow. Remember we saw the cat in the front page of the story. There it is. Ten little lights were shining out in the night and a cat was looking back at a rat, a hare, a fox, an owl, a mole, a robin, a deer, a badger, and a stoat who were all dreaming of a warm, cozy fire. Do you think the cat will let them in? Or keep them outside in the snow? So let's see. Ten little lights were shining out in the night and ten little friends were snuggled up very tight. Well then, Cat, you have been a really, really good friend. And I can see all your little friends are snuggled in a sofa and the fire is making them all warm and cosy. Well done, you've been very generous. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure my friend the cat enjoyed it too. Thank you for listening and see you soon.